The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. With the NFL Honors Awards show coming up on February 4th, the discussion has really started to pick up surrounding the AP NFL MVP Award. The honor, which will be presented to the best player from the NFL regular season, as voted on by the Associated Press, is still very much in question. The winner has been fairly obvious in recent seasons, but in 2016, it wasn't that simple. So in today's video, we'll be counting down the top five players who are most likely to win the coveted Associated Press NFL Most Valuable Player Award. A dark horse to win the award, Le'Veon Bell starts us off today at number five. Bell rushed for 1,268 yards and seven scores in just 12 games, but his 616 receiving yards and two additional touchdowns are really what allows him to stand out from the pack. Bell's pace would have put him at a whopping 2,512 yards for a full 16-game season, which would have eclipsed the record set by Chris Johnson back in 2009. Unfortunately, Bell is unlikely to win the MVP award due to a suspension that was handed out at the beginning of the season, which forced him to miss Pittsburgh's first three games. Despite being unlikely to walk away with the MVP hardware from the 2016 season, Bell is a strong candidate to win the award in 2017 if he can just keep himself out of trouble. A near lock for Offensive Rookie of the Year, a case could also be made for Dallas' Ezekiel Elliott to be the youngest NFL MVP in history. The 21-year-old star tailback led the NFL in rushing yardage by a wide margin this season, finishing over 300 yards ahead of the next closest player, despite not playing in Week 17 due to the Cowboys already locking up the top seed in the NFC. The knock on Elliott doesn't actually seem to be so much on him, but rather that the Dallas Cowboys offensive line is so good and so dominant that his numbers might be a little bit inflated. Nevertheless, Elliott was just six yards away from eclipsing 2,000 total yards on the season, and his work as a pass protector was among the best at the position despite his age. Like Le'Veon Bell, Elliott will likely be on the outside looking in on MVP night, but there's still a great chance that he'll be smiling at the end of the night if he's given his due as the Offensive Rookie of the Year. I feel like we can run the table. I really do. Those words spoken by Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers will go down in history as the two-time NFL MVP would go on to lead a then-stumbling Packers squad to six straight victories to come from behind and win the NFC North. Rodgers' 40 touchdown passes led the NFL, and his seven interceptions again put him among the league leaders in touchdown-to-interception ratio. Always a tremendous individual contributor, Rodgers' leadership was on another level this season. While the Packers' defense struggled and the team scrambled to find any production at all in the running game, Rodgers remained the pillar of excellence which allowed the Packers to go on a historic run and end the regular season as the NFC North champions. Statistically, Rodgers' claim for the NFL MVP award might be more legitimate than any other player, but the Packers' 10-6 record might deter voters from going in that direction. Nevertheless, Rodgers had another incredible season in what is undoubtedly an NFL Hall of Fame career. A two-time winner of the NFL's Most Valuable Player Award, Tom Brady might not only be in line to win his fifth Super Bowl, but also his third honor as the league's best player. Brady threw for 3,554 yards and 28 touchdown passes, but his most impressive statistic has to be his unbelievable ability to avoid turning over the ball. The 39-year-old threw just two interceptions on the season and did not lose a single fumble. By contrast, Cam Newton, the 2015 AP NFL MVP, turned the ball over 14 times in his MVP season. The one knock on Brady and Probably the biggest reason why he isn't number one on this list is that he served a four-game suspension for a quote-unquote deflate gate at the beginning of the season. Whether or not you agree with that suspension, it absolutely has major ramifications on his MVP prospects. The Patriots went 3-1 and one without Brady, which does also deal a big blow to the claim that Brady himself is the biggest reason for the Patriots' success. Still, there's no question that he was among the best individual players in the league this season, and the AP writers may decide to go in that direction. (music) 
Following back-to-back tremendous playoff performances against the Packers and Seahawks, the hype around Matt Ryan becoming the 2016 NFL AP MVP is at an all-time high. While those performances were certainly worthy of MVP chatter, it's worth noting that the NFL MVP award does not take postseason performance into account, as the award is voted on prior to the playoffs starting. Still, his regular season performance certainly puts him deep into the conversation for NFL MVP. Among qualified starters, Matt Ryan finished third in the league in completion percentage, second in passing yardage, second in touchdown passes, and he led the league in QB rating. Better yet, Ryan's Falcons led the NFL in total points scored by a wide margin, scoring 71 more points than the second-place Saints and nearly 100 more points than the third-place Patriots. If the Falcons finished with a better record than 11-5, Ryan would be an even stronger candidate for NFL MVP, but the record was still good enough to secure the two-seed in the NFC for the Falcons, so I don't think that's going to deter too many voters. While there are quite a few players who deserve to be in the conversation, and nothing is set in stone at this point, Matt Ryan tops this list as the most likely player to win the 2016 Associated Press NFL Most Valuable Player Award. So what do you think? Do you agree with this list or did I leave somebody off? Let me know in the comments section below and help me out also by dropping a like and sharing this video on your favorite social media apps. Thanks again and be sure to stop back for more NFL and Madden content in the coming days.